You probably can't hear me. It's really windy. On a whim after work, I decided to go to the ocean. I haven't seen the water in a while. I really love the water. It just rejuvenates me. Take a look at this beach. like it's got a bun top and bottom and a black burger. These are, a lot of them are from Costa Rica. They float for up to 50 years and wash up on our shores here in Melbourne, Florida. Beautiful specimen. Well, look what washed up on the beach. <laughs> it's a big old, very large piece of driftwood. Here, we'll, whoa! Nicker nut or the sea pearl. It contains the poor man's quinine, a uh, treatment for malaria, also treats dysentery. Just about all medicines come from plants, and God has provided us everything we need to thrive and survive. A weed is only a plant for which mankind hasn't figured out its use. God's provided everything. The hamburger bean, it contains dopamine, a blood pressure medicine, and a neural inhibitor. Everything we need is around us. The God who made the heavens and the earth and the ocean. He knows our needs. Over here is, this is the egg case of a conch or some kind of snail. This is a Jamaican walnut. Even though they come from islands and there's really uh, no such thing as a Jamaican walnut tree. That's the name the locals give them. Over here, this is a piece of pumice. It comes from a volcano. The Atlantic and Pacific oceans are full of volcanoes. And destruction on a scale that the eyes of man don't see it, but it's happening all the time. But it says in the book of Peter, that there's three things people won't believe. They won't believe that one, once the world was created and that it was destroyed by water and that judgment is coming. Well, judgment's coming. My glasses are salting over. The sun is setting. I hate to go home. I'm having too much fun. I'm finding too many sea beans. 
just glorious out here. Long beach, the sky, the last rays of the day, the rack line, all these wonders. God's glorious creation. as the eye can see. I have to show you some surfer art. All this stuff is like driftwood and so forth that have washed up and they just kind of bind it together, make a little shrine, gives I guess the people watching the surfers something to do while they're out risking their necks in the ocean. <laughs> 